I'm Shane from Lonely Viking and I'm bringing you another Elementor tutorial today and I'm really excited about this one um, because it's something that I've been trying to do for quite a while um, and I'm now going to show you how to do it and that is how to make your own icons and then to use them inside of Elementor with all of the icons that you that you usually see inside of Elementor and this is really cool for a number of reasons and I'll get into that but let's get started now I'm going to show you how to um, add your uh, to create your own um, icons and so I usually work in Adobe Illustrator um, and I know some people don't have Illustrator um, for a much more affordable option is Affinity Designer um, and then this I'm not going to go too deep into how to create vector graphics um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that not everybody is um, a graphic designer and so you may want to use your own logo um, but you probably would have gotten that from your graphic designer and it's likely that you would have got that as a PDF um, or um, some kind of vector format and so I've just got this PDF version of my own logo and I'm going to just right click on that. I'm going to say open with Affinity Designer. Um, say open. And so here it is. It's a vector graphic. What vector graphics just means is it's not made up of pixels. It's made up of parts. And so it's, it's um, scalable um, without the loss of quality. So you can scale it and, and it um, mathematically calculates those parts. And then, anyway, that's the basic explanation so I'm just going to delete that because um, we don't really need that as an icon um, and then all you have to do is go to so we've opened the PDF and then you just have to go to export select SVG uh, I'm not going to give it any uh, rasterization and then export it's going to ask where you want to save that I'm just going to save it in my downloads folder for now okay and so that is that and then I'm gonna show you just quickly in Illustrator if you if you do design a little bit or you you uh, I don't know you feel like messing around there's a free um, app called Inkscape which you can do vector graphics in but I've never used it so I can't really comment on that but anyway let's say we want to make an icon of I don't know let's say something easy like cherries let's make some cherries so I'm just gonna make a circle um, and then I held shift to make it a circle by the way and then I'm just gonna hold alt or option and drag to uh, duplicate that and I'm gonna take the pen tool quickly I'm just gonna make these little twigs of the cherry and this is very quick so please don't judge me if you're a real graphic designer okay escape and then we're going to switch that around so that's a stroke and then I'm gonna make that okay and then we don't want that point at the top so I'm gonna do that and there's some cherries sort of you might see something else but let's just say that those are cherries right and I'm gonna export that as an SVG I'm just gonna say again downloads export that okay so now we've got two SVG files this is the file format that you need um, in order to do what we're doing so we've got those two okay then <clears throat> we're gonna go to a website called Fontello Fontello.com um, and here you can upload your SVG files um, and then export them as font files uh, which we're going to use inside of Elementor um, with a specific plugin so as you can see over here I've already imported my logo previously because I'm using it um, and this is another logo, <coughs> excuse me, that I imported, which is a side business that I'm working on. 
Um, and so I've got those in there already, but then we want to import, let's import that cherry file. And so you click on this little spanner, click on import, and then there's our file. Um, I'm just going to rename it over there. I'm going to call that cherries. Okay, and then let's click there, import cherries.svg. Okay, and that's imported that. And so now, basically, what you've got to do is select the fonts that you want to export. Um, and so, those are obviously my custom ones, but if you look down here, there are loads of files, I mean, of icons. Um, and I, I think these um, font awesome ones are the, the ones that come inside of Elementor by default. There's some other really great ones, the Ntapo ones, and a whole bunch of other sets. And actually, I saw someone um, on one of the groups, one of the Elemental groups on Facebook, I think, saying they wanted the hamburger menu, but with like um, thinner lines, like narrower. And it wasn't really, it wasn't possible to do that in CSS. But now you could, you could do that. You could just inside of Illustrator or um, Affinity Designer or Inkscape or whatever it might be. You can just create thinner lines and then upload them here, export them. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm just going to export this one file um, because I'll show you here. This is uh, the Lonely Viking website and we've already got these two um, installed in here. Um, I'll show you how to install this plugin and everything. But So uh, you just select the icon that you want. Click on download. That's going to download um, a zip file a very quick because it's a tiny file and then so we're going to go over here to um, WordPress and this is the uh, plugin that you're going to install it's called custom icons for Elementor and so I've already got it installed but if you go to uh, plugins add new and you just put that in the search field it's going to come up as um, in my case here it's the fourth result and it's this one here called custom icons for Elementor and then uh, let me just go back to where I was once you've installed it you will inside of your menu on the left here you'll go to Elementor and then uh, to custom icons and so you click on that, it's going to load up the custom icons uh, plugin interface. And then you can drag and drop or you can click to browse. I'm just going to go here and I'm going to drag in this zip file from Fontello. Um, for some reason, it is not working, which is very frustrating. So let me just pause here quickly. Okay, I figured out what the problem is. So, when you export the fonts in Fontello, make sure to give it a name in the name field. Uh, without a name, for some reason, it doesn't work inside of that plugin. So, I just went ahead and called it Tutorial Font, and then I downloaded it. Um, and so, I then have that zip file and when I bring that zip file which I exported with a name into there no come on okay let me just hard refresh that page okay so <laughs> it's remembering it from from earlier Okay, so it's got the cherry fonts. All right, so just remember to give it a name. Otherwise, it seems like that's causing an issue. So I've got the cherry file there now. So let's go and see why it's so cool to have your own icons um, working inside of Elementor. So I'm just going to add a new page here. Um, 
Okay, I'm just going to say edit with Elementor. Okay, so there we go. Add a new section. And now you might be saying, well, why don't you just bring your own SVG file in? Why don't you just bring a PNG? You can, it's much easier than what we've just done. The cool thing is that we can use elemental modules that make use of icons, like this icon one, for example. And then I can say cherries. And there I've got my cherries. And now I can increase the size of that. I can change the color to whatever color I want. Um, and I've got that control of having that icon, which I think is super cool. Um, and I mean, there are other modules that use the icons as well. Um, like the ultimate add ons for Elementor. Uh, let's go have a look at those quick. Oh, well, yeah, the general, just like an icon box, right? We can just go there and say, uh, Lonely Viking logo, and there I've got my logo. I think it's super cool. Um, other ones like a button, for example. Um, just a regular button. But on buttons, you can, uh, I think it's there, you can select an icon. And I can say, peak, no, that one's not in there. Uh, what did I call it? Mark. Logo mark icon, whatever. I can select that and then I've got that on there. Um, and so I think that's really cool. Uh, and so that is how you create your own icons and use them inside of Elementor. Um, if you have any questions, just post a comment. I'll try to answer any question that I can. If you get stuck, uh, first try, make sure you put that name in. Um, and if you want to find out anything more about Elementor, let me know. I love making these tutorials. Um, if you like this video, um, give it a like, a comment, or share it. Um, and I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel if you think you'll find the content valuable. Uh, so thank you and goodbye.